Good evening, St. Catherine of Siena parents and students. Welcome to our first combined back to school fair and meet the teacher night. My hope is that by combining these nights, you and your children are able to meet their teacher, see their classrooms, and hear about all the great things their teachers have planned for them this school year. This way you all know the class schedule, behavior management plan, and the class routines before school begins. Hopefully you're not too crowded in the classrooms, but the plan is for you to only be there for about 20 minutes. I'm happy to welcome to St. Catharines about 40 new students this school year. We have new students in every class, and many of our classes have quite a few new students. So veteran parents, as you run into new parents here at St. Catharines, please be sure to introduce yourself and welcome them. This year we have a lot of new initiatives at St. Catharines that are going to help us continue on a path of continuous improvement. Our school community should always be looking for ways to improve our school, spiritually, academically, in the physical plant, and in the programs we offer. Before I talk about our initiatives for the school year, I'd like to tell you about some new staff members that we have welcomed to our school. Mrs. Fiala is our new fourth grade teacher. She comes to us with 10 years of teaching experience in both Catholic and public schools. She also subbed and was a frequent volunteer here at St. Catharines. Her son, Sean, is in sixth grade here at St. Catharines. We also have a new technology teacher, Ms. Dia Verone. She is a parishioner here, and she is also a professor at Living Arts College on Falls of Noose Road. As you've been walking around campus, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the changes in our building that are taking place. The new gym will be completed in mid-September. They are currently putting down the new floor, which will be a gym floor with padding, and will have a basketball court imprinted on it. We also will have a new art and music room. Students will go to the room next to kindergarten for these classes now rather than having them in their classroom. As you can imagine, our art and music teachers are very excited about having this room to teach in and it will allow them to expand their curriculums. The new school lobby will be completed this week and we will welcome Lisa Norman in a new role as our receptionist. Mrs. Norman will continue to do many of the tasks associated with the preschool, but she will be sitting in our new lobby and will be taking care of many of the daily tasks that used to take place in our school office. Beginning on Wednesday, parents and anyone visiting the school or parish should first go to the desk in the lobby for assistance. Mrs. Norman will be handling visitor sign-ins, student tardies, early pickup for doctor's appointments, lunch drop-offs, and general questions about the school. Curriculum-wise, we have a new math curriculum for kindergarten through fifth grade and sixth grade. We have purchased Saxon Math for kindergarten through fifth grade, and we've purchased Prentice Hall for our sixth graders. Saxon Math has been researched and is a strong math program for our kindergarten through fifth grade. And Prentice Hall is the curriculum we use in seventh and eighth grade, so this will align our sixth graders with the middle school math program that we currently have in place with Mrs. P and Mr. Gallery. We'll also be implementing a new Spanish program in the middle school with workbooks for our students. Mrs. Bersino researched curriculum options last school year and is excited to implement this in the middle school. I've also been working with our PTO. We have a larger board this year and are still looking for a couple of parents to fill a couple of more seats. The PTO board oversees the PTO and manages the programs it sponsors. If you're interested in finding out the needs we still have, please contact me or Mrs. Fortin, our PTO president. This year we're also asking room parents to come to PTO meetings in order to disseminate information and needs to all the parents in their class. PTO meetings are every other month, usually on the first Thursday. The first meeting is, this, is Thursday, September 4th, and I hope that you can make it. Information on signing up to be a room parent and joining the PTO is available in your child's classroom and in the cafeteria. We're shooting for 100% membership of our school families in the PTO to support the events they sponsor. Last year we were very close to 100%, so please be sure to take a form and send in your membership form with your child to their, ch to their teacher. I also encourage you to get involved in the volunteer opportunities here at St. Catharines. We can only offer programs and events that are supported by volunteers, and we would love for anyone who is a suggestion for a program 
and would like to coordinate the program at the school to approach me or a PTO board member with it. <clears throat> also available tonight in your cl child's classroom is this school year's parent and student handbook. Please be sure to take a copy and familiarize yourself with the school policies and procedures and sign and return the last page of the handbook. If you have any questions about anything in the handbook, please contact me or your child's teacher. Speaking of procedures, carpool this year will run the same as it did last year. I'll send out a map to remind you of the procedures, but basically morning carpool for morning carpool, please enter the parking lot at the first entrance. Take your first left in the parking lot as to avoid the preschoolers walking through the parking lot. You will continue around to the same drop off as last year, the sidewalk just before the playground. PM carpool will also be the same. Lineup begins on that same sidewalk by the playground and wraps around the back of our church. I will send out a map for the new families and to remind everybody about the procedures. Thank you for your time tonight. The staff and I are really looking forward to an exciting school year. We have so much to be thankful for, and please keep praying for our priests, our school staff, our students, and all of our families here at St. Catharines. Boys and girls, I hope you remember your morning offering and St. Michael of Arc Angel Prayer. If not, you have tomorrow to practice it for Wednesday morning. At this time, I would like to turn things over to our teachers. They will talk to you for about 20 minutes. At that time, I'll come on the intercom and ask you to exit the classroom and proceed to the next classroom if you have more than one child at our school or to visit the cafeteria to see the specialist teachers and information tables. Thank you again, enjoy the evening, and I'll see you bright and early Wednesday morning at eight o'clock. Good night.